Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Reviews back at you today with another one. I'm very excited about this one, guys. I'm excited about all the beers that I get to review, but this one is really cool because um, it's from a microbrewery in Stowe, Vermont called Idle Time Brewing Company. And they were right next to Hetty Topper, really within walking distance of Hetty Topper. And um, just another one of those little breweries that was recommended by some of the locals. We went there, so like a brew pub, a full restaurant, bar, all of that. Um, but you know, they had some uh, brewing equipment and they, they brew small batches and got a flight while I was there. Uh, they brew some really good stuff. The only brewery I've ever been to where when you get a flight, you get six different beers in the flight. Uh, so I got to try a lot of good stuff. This was not one of them. I've never had this beer before. Uh, it was one of the only things they had to go. I wanted to get something from the brewery to bring home with me to review for you guys. Um, and, the, and here's the... I don't know if it's going to focus, but... Eh, it's not going to focus, but that's their little logo. It looks, it's like an upside down hop, and it just says ITB Co., Idle Time Brewing Company. Um, and it says, brewed and bottled by Idle Time Brewing Company, 1859 Mountain Road in Stowe, Vermont. Um, so, this is their Maybach. It is 6.6% .6 alcohol. This is bottle number 69. This is a 22 ounce bomber bottle. Um, so let's try it out. Okay. Let's pour it up. Ooh. Nice head there. Typical Maybach appearance. It's kind of a light amber or more of a copper color, I guess, when I hold it up to the light. It is clear. You can see the light through it pretty clearly. Not murky or foggy or cloudy or little sediment floating around, anything like that. It's nice and clear. About a three finger, just off white frothy head on there. Mmm. Smells good. A little bit of caramel malt. Some nice earthy hot notes with this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, this smells really good. Um, Maybe a touch of like a biscuity malt character. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of that caramel malt aroma. A little bit of biscuity, bready malt character. Earthy hops. smells so clean it's very minimal on the aroma actually I mean what I just described to you but it just smells clean like it's gonna be really crisp and refreshing and it doesn't smell like it's 6.6% .6%. it just smells like a nice malt forward light beer yeah I'm not getting too much else on the aroma so let's just get right into it guys without further ado let's get into this brew cheers little caramel malt it's a little bit of like a just a light fruitiness it's not tart or anything like that but just a little bit of a like a sweetness like a almost like a nectar of sweetness in there oh man mmm 
almost has like a like Belgian candy sugar type note in there. It's got like a little bit of like sugary sweetness in there. But the earthy hops on the back end kind of round it out nicely. It's not bitter. It's definitely malt forward. Uh, there's like white bread, white bread crust. There's a little bit of caramel. A little bit of that fruitiness, that nectar sweetness. If you've ever had like a, a got like agave syrup or something, it's, it's like something like that along those lines. It's very interesting. Um, definitely the caramel. Not quite into toffee with this, but it's more straight caramel. Um, and at 6.6%, my box I've seen range from like 5.8 all the way to like 8 percent plus honestly but this is right where my box should be I think this is right in the six to seven percent range six point six percent fits the bill for this type of beer this style uh, carbonation is on the medium side the body is really light I mean I guess you could say it's probably on the lower end of medium but for me who <clears throat> you know someone like me who drinks a lot of stouts and heavier beers like something like this it's pretty light body so I would say it's light body but if you're used to drinking Bud Light, Miller Light, Coors Light, and then you drink something like this, you might think it's a little bit heavier. I could understand that, but it's really light-bodied for the style. Mm. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'll probably never have another beer from Idle Time Brewing out of Stowe, Vermont. They don't distribute. This is the only beer they had available to take take uh, home and it's got the handwritten label on there so you know they're just brewing very small batch stuff there's no distribution you'd have to go to the brewery in Stowe, Vermont I think at this point in time to get the beer let me know though if you've had this beer in the comments I'd be surprised but anybody out there any of my viewers that may live in the Vermont area or New England area and have been to this brewery you may have had this beer uh, what do you think about it I'll tell you what I think about it I think it's world class for the style. I think it's a 98. No, I think it's a 99. I'm going to give it a 99. It does not get much better than this for the style. That kind of candy sugar sweetness, agave syrup type note, the caramel malt, the breadiness in the middle, that earthy hot bite. It's so well rounded. It's so out of bounds. Delicious. Yeah, 99 out of 100. It is that good. It really is. Um, so that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Idle Time Brewing Company out of Stowe, Vermont. They're my Bach at 6.6%. If you've ever had it, let me know what you think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Until next time, everybody. Cheers.